right so we should be live now uh welcome to the facebook page guys welcome to this stream so that is going to be um a forecast for the solar eclipse oh my god solar eclipse <clears throat> that happens um into cancer uh which is a, a new moon and uh, it has effect up until just give me a second so it's the third of august so uh oh my god no i'm i'm looking at july um it's uh it's in aquarius i'm sorry and it has an effect up until the 5th of july okay so for some reason i was looking into july um in any case uh in this live stream we're gonna have a look at how this is going to affect the star signs and when i'm seeing the star signs um today i was talking with uh with a person behind the scene okay with uh, with my assistant with my manager many of you who resorted to private readings uh, had in touch with her under one or another form uh and uh you know we were discussing something that happened last stream you know the people that are always complaining you know that their star sign is always behind and so on and so forth so uh what she told me is like hey Rat, you you you're making you know pools of questions so why don't you make a pool of zodiac signs you know it's just on random just just do it but um from a hat or from a cup or from whatever just just you know make a 12 sheets of every star sign on them and just make a random pool and oh my god you know she is a genius isn't she so this is what i did um it's uh, completely unpredictable which star sign goes first which star sign is gonna be um is gonna be the last uh, I have them, uh, it, it's highly improvised and besides you get to enjoy my terrific, actually very uh, bad and um, what was the word, dreadful handwriting. But yeah, this is the cup that I'm going to use and here are the star signs all put it and folded so I can't see which one I am pulling in. And uh, let's give them a good shuffle actually they're going in each other. Um, and uh, yeah, this is how I'm going to make the random pool completely, completely improvised. Mm. So another thing is that uh, once again, in between the four, every four star signs, I'm going to make a pool. And in this pool, I'm going to choose a question from or rather like they all say Scorpio. That uh, That is brilliant, actually, Leslie. Uh, that is brilliant but no actually they are genuine okay they are genuine you're gonna see so uh after every four star signs i'm gonna stop and uh i'm gonna I don't, I don't, oh my god what is so difficult to get the words out today um i'm gonna have a pool or you guys are gonna have a pool so putting questions um <clears throat> into the into the post into the topic and uh, i will pick up not choose but a pick up a question i will perform a, a professional tarot reading on the question itself hello joyce so uh yeah with that being said uh the new tarot classes are starting this week major and minor arcana and minor arcana i'm sorry minor arcana at saturday major arcana at sunday 1 p.m both and if you do want to participate into either, you can go to my website under the tarot classes. You're going to find a, uh, <clears throat> a bulk classes ready to be uh, either of the classes. I'm sorry, ready to be purchased. So if you do like the way I read tarot cards and uh, you do want to learn how to read the same way, uh, you're going to find a way to do it there. Also, you're going to find the descriptions uh, of the tarot class there as well. Uh, good evening, Paula. And not to forget the, about the private readings. Should you want a private reading, you can go again to the website itself, uh, which is here into the post, by the way, uh, listed. And from there, depending on your budget, you can choose from varieties of services. There you can find all of them on the very front page and as well their pricing. Oh my God, how people do not get tired to repeat these things over and over again. I mean, it's just 
because when I'm looking at the YouTube videos and they are sponsored videos and so on and so forth, I mean people are repeating that three times a video um, after each five minutes. Uh, how 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 they do they do not get tired? I mean, I feel so silly doing it, but it's important for the new people who wants to get in touch with me. Uh, so, what is the website? Um, I will not gonna spell it, Christina, because I sound like a uh, incoherent child. But you can you can uh, have a look at it at the post, okay? Or if someone has it, um, uh, you you can post it as well into the comments, guys. If someone has it. But the website is in the post itself, uh, linked. Right, so let me have a sip of coffee here. Uh, inhale a couple of times because it was kind of a rush thing here with the idea of getting random signs, and we're gonna move with the sign with the signs themselves. Hello, Mar Marian. Um, welcome back. Good morning, Smita. South Africa, eh? I mean, we are. I believe that we are in the same time zone, so it should be um, twenty to three a.m. Uh, at your um, at your place. All right. So closing my eyes, I or I like looking into toward the ceiling. I am gonna make the first pull, and that is going to be. I see it. okay, so that's my handwriting. Don't laugh out, okay? Don't laugh out. It's it's terrible, I know. So we do have Pisces first, okay? Let me put it here. That is Pisces. And uh, by the way, my mother, it's a teacher in Bulgarian language and literature, and her handwriting, it's beautiful. I, I, and I do find pattern in those... Uh, in the teachers, especially the old school, they do have all of the same handwriting. I don't know if they, um, if in the university they were enforcing them to have it, but uh, they almost have an identical. All of the teachers, they almost, they all have uh, identical handwritings. Hello, Daniele. Pisces first for once, yeah, I mean, yes, uh, uh, two days ago when I had my stream, you know, people were uh, kind of like, uh, how can I say, uh, making a point, I will say it that milder way, okay, that Pisces always goes, you know, halfway through or always is last, oh my god, so you get, I guess today you get to have it first. Yeah. Right, so let's give a good shuffle. Uh, much good than, than uh, the previous stream, Tommy. Thank you. Yeah, uh, two days ago when we had the stream, guys, I was really uh, not in a condition to make it, but I went with it either way. But and, and thank you so much for supporting me through it. Hello, Anna. Right, so uh, for Pisces, we do have uh, the Nine of Wands. Uh, that is the first card. The, it's catalyzed by the King of Swords. And what we do have here is Justice. Okay, so that a solar eclipse is going to lead toward a rather quite of good results in terms of Pisces, uh, mainly oriented in terms of career and making their lives much more easier than than right now, okay? What happens here, it is that uh, Pisces are gonna be able to align their chores and responsibilities. Not exactly chores and responsibilities, but let's say things that, that, that Pisces needs to tackle with in rather very efficient, very efficient string of activities and string of enterprises, okay? I mean, you are going to align them in a such a way that you are going to find time for everything you gotta do and find time for yourself as well. And it's always going to linger into the balance. Additionally to that, by doing so with the Nine of uh, Wands and the King of Swords as they are a active friend, 
it's very likely that you're going to find a brilliant solutions to certain worries and issues that you had uh, currently no clue how to how to tackle with them for one or another reason the majority of the reasons are though a lack of time and self-imposed lack of uh, experience i'm saying self-imposed lack of experience is because you didn't have the time to think thoroughly through that's why you thought you know that there is no way out or there is no other way around it but actually there is and here with that particular energy of the king of swords and the knights of wands some quite of a brilliant solutions are to be discovered by your side and as well incorporated into a very effective measures and actions um and uh, pretty much that is uh, that is for you pisces for this um for this cycle so it does look like that you are to toil quite a lot over your career and at the end you will become quite efficient and quite successful as well should you toil after it again because with justice here as a catalyst to the nine of wands which is also a active uh, active friend the more you do the more you get justice is served so justice law and order are going to be in place however they are not right now and with the nine of wands you do need to realign the situation which you definitely will be able to throughout uh, throughout these couple of weeks okay in a such a way once again that it will be extremely efficient to you and that most likely is going to be within your career but again it may happen into your relationship where you are reshuffling or either restructuring the enterprises in the relationship life you have in order to make it a much more efficient right so that was about pisces yeah, signs are being drawn out of a bowl randomly. Exactly, Leslie. Um, right, so let's look at the ceiling and let's draw the other sign. That is going to be Taurus. Taurus is the next one. There we go. Okay, so Taurus. Let's uh, let's have a look. take back the power right so for Taurus we do have the page of cups afterwards that is going to be the king of wands and then we do have the uh, queen of cups here for you Tauruses so uh, or Taurus actually by the way I have been made a note that there is no such thing as Taurus says it's just Taurus okay so that's uh, that's completely fine thank you for to the person that make uh, made, made that point I had no idea that Taurus doesn't need a uh, how do you say it uh, a multiple name or whatever <clears throat> right so uh, these three cards Taurus well actually those couple of weeks or weeks where you I don't know exactly the English term but it is where you settle and it's not exactly settling as well. I'm sorry guys, because English is not my native, I can't find the exact word. So uh, the, the couple of weeks as such, it is not like you are going to abandon a goal or abandon a dream, you know, or, or abandon a drive in generally, but it is just in these couple of weeks, you're gonna find it more efficient and much more productive as well if you do slow down the pace a little bit in terms of career and in terms of relationship as well that is for a reason being is that the the future itself you know or how the things can turn out in terms of uh, future performance career wise and relationship wise uh, you are to find it that it's a bit uncertain and you alone are going to start um how can i say anticipating that a change is looming on the horizon and that anticipation is not wrong so therefore within those uh, those couple of weeks you're going to uh, and that is just quote in quotes all right a banging your head against the wall but not in a bad way okay that is just you trying to figure out what kind of a change may actually happen on the um, may actually happen a few weeks from now or a couple of months from now so you can find yourself best prepared for the change themselves for the change itself and that's why you will decide to settle I will, I will give you an example what is to happen let's say that you um want to change your job it is not like you are not happy with the job you are but it is just you want more 
okay and instead of pushing it these couple of weeks you may it is highly likely that you may decide to stick it there for at least a couple of months more just before the crisis ends you know within this world because right now we all know that we are living in a tumultuous times so from that kind of a nature settling it is what i uh, it is what i mean now additionally to it uh uh, additionally, to, uh, additionally to it, I'm sorry, uh, these couple of weeks are weeks where you will have the chance, not the chance, but the, the benefit was the word that I was searching for, to indulge with pleasant emotions. And that is especially true for those who are within a relationship, okay? It does look like that their emotional connection with their partner is only going to get deeper and deeper. But even those that are not into a relationship throughout those a couple of weeks, uh, they <clears throat> have a very big chance to start embarking on such with people that they already know. But the, there is a, uh, um, a small key to it, or rather like there is a, a small condition to it, that you both need to see each other in that way, okay? Uh, from a friendship that the thing can grow into a committed relationship. It's highly unlikely, okay? It's highly unlikely within those couple of weeks taught us to meet someone new. It is here within the card. Right. So that was about Taurus. Now let me draw another another sign. So close the eyes, and the next one that will be Capricorn. So there we go, Capricorn. Okay. Hello, Katrin. And I do apologize for the improvised idea, guys. Uh, for the next time, uh, I will have it a better setup. All right. I mean, with 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 something a bit more professional. Although I know I don't know if I don't set up set up it in a bowls. I don't know how to do it because. Um... All right. So for Capricorn, we do have the world, followed by the Eight of Wands. Okay. And then we do have. The high priestess. Okay, so we do have those two are immediately um, making an attention. Even though we do have the eight of wands, the power of those two are completely knocking it off. I mean, that card doesn't matter at all into into these elemental dignities. So only those two are having an impact. Well, the eight of wands as well has a small impact, but very very small and it will play in the distant future so what happens well there is only one way how we can say it what is done it's done and now it's time for you to open yourself for a new world or rather like a new perspective that that is very well uh, people who attended to the class very well uh, will understand but i will try to explain you what, what what's happened here okay so we do have a passive friend which means that the high priestess threatens the world, okay? And the world is about the culmination of things, not necessarily a happy ending. It is just an ending, okay? Uh, short, uh, long story short. So whatever happened, happened, and there is no reversal of it. Now it's time for you to just make a closure of it. And under a closure, I mean that you need to understand and embrace the, the ending or the culmination and from there just move on and this is where the <clears throat> this is where the eight of wands is actually taking place that it may be with these a passive neutrals that it may be a bit difficult for you to wrap your mind around you know what happened and how it happened and you, that you have to put an, an end to it and so on and so forth uh that you may not that you may not have the urge or the drive, if you will, to seek for a new perspectives, which are to happen far further into the future. What I mean is that you, that you alone may not have the enthusiasm to make an initiative. And as we all know, new perspectives happen only through our personal, uh, through our personal initiative. But um, the high priestess is all about sitting into one place here. People that have attended to the class knows why. 
uh, and uh, with the world it is just you know it's it's uh, it's flat okay I mean not the world is flat but but it's kind of like the situation is flat it's it's done okay so uh, from another standpoint however these two especially if we're talking about relationship ongoing relationship throughout the week okay that is strictly for love okay so up until now we do have a general uh, manifestation of those two cards and now but they do have a different manifestation in terms of law okay so the high priestess with the world card in terms of law is either binding yourself with Oh my God, I hate that word so much, but I will say it. Soulmate, or you are about to. And under binding yourself with your soulmate, I don't mean that you are about to meet him right now, but it could be, you know, that the things slow down in between each you, or, you know, the things went colder in between each you, especially, for example, if your soulmate is your wife. You know, and you are 20, 20 years in a marriage and things are just in a, in a routine right now and you don't have that initial emotional attachment in between one another. Within those uh, two uh, weeks, that emotional attachment will resuscitate once again. Or if you are single, well, then those two cards are, are a clear sign that whatever happens in terms of your romantic life within the next couple of uh, weeks, it will be a, a direction given to you to find your soulmate. Right. So, um, let's have a look who is going to be the last star signs for the first four. And we do have Gemini. Okay. Oh my God, I'm terrible into pronouncing those things. So we do have Gemini again. There we go. Okay. All right, so let me shuffle. So for Gemini, we do have the Hermit, accompanied with the Ten of Cups, and then we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I mean, wow. I mean, Gemini are really taking the cake here uh, in, these, uh, in this solar eclipse, or the new moon into uh, Aquarius. Was it in Aquarius or was it in Sagittarius? Uh, just one second. Is in Cancer. It's a new moon in Cancer. Oh my God, I'm so bad at that. So it's a new moon in Cancer. Okay. All right. So uh, what do we have for Gemini? And I forgot to do something. I thought that I'm going to do it. And I just forgot to do something. I thought that I should do a one five card spread collective tarot reading for the, uh, for the eclipse itself. Okay. But I didn't. So I'm going to do it at the end, guys. A collective one um, right so uh, we do have uh, these uh, these three and that pretty much points that Gemini are going to um, uh, it's very short guys uh, Gemini are going to find their thing whatever their thing is because those three cards are only pointing that they will uh, walk out of these couple of weeks with a substantial progress or a substantial goal or a sub substantial agenda for example substantial love uh, for example substantial job for example substantial deal you know something a substantial that's uh, not just only that but also is going to make them very happy that is because we do have it in conjunction with the ten of cups and these are a uh, passive friends and under uh, and being a passive friends that is a long lasting one with the hermits it may not be it's not a it won't be a surprise if it is a for a lifetime so if you are a gemini say and you make a relationship 
throughout the next couple of weeks, you end up in a relationship throughout the, the next couple of weeks, that could be your marriage, you know, that could be the person that you are going to grow old with, you know, and etc, and, etc. Et et and having the Ten of Pentacles in there, uh, that thing provides a wealth. But under wealth, I don't mean just only money, you know, wealth could be happiness, wealth could be family, wealth, could, wealth I'm sorry, it could be health as well. So it provides wealth that you can sit on for probably the rest of your life as well. And it, it's pretty much um, these couple of weeks for you, Gemini, are going to be the golden mine, you know, I, I don't know how to say, it. yeah, the golden mine that you are going to draw from... Um, from it and fix your life if you will or make your life exponentially better i don't know how to say it in other way around there is only one small problem here with those cards uh the uh, hermit uh, it's a card that operates uh solo or what i mean is that once you start doing that substantial thing um you may kind of like experience uh, a withdrawal from those around you. What I mean is that um, not many people are going to applaud you for it. And that is because it's going to be your substantial thing, not theirs. Okay. So that being said, look first and foremost to satisfy yourself rather than to go by with the ideas of others and ideas of the world. Right. So that was about the first day, four star signs. Just give me a second, guys. So we do have Pisces Moon being tuning in, saying reason Gemini was a big uh, eclipse. It's that Sun is in Cancer or something for the North Node that I don't understand. Uh, it's uh, kind of like conjuncting our world, so uh, it's kind of pretty from astrological standpoint it's pretty spot on so probably astrology is going to predict almost the same thing okay so that being said um we are uh we are now gonna make the break and uh, the pool for questions is happening so anybody who wants to have a free reading please input your questions into the uh comments down below the so the post the uh, the live stream and uh, once the questions are accumulated I'm going to make a um, I'm gonna make a poll I'll, I'm just gonna pick up a question and going to perform a professional reading on the question itself <clears throat> Uh, I don't know how I can help you, Christine. Do you you want me to become your friend, your boyfriend, whatever? I mean, a reading is not going to help you with that. You're losing it because of something and you got to work on that something. And I'm sure that you pretty much know um, what is that something. So reading can only con confirm that these people are walking away. So... For the military ball? What, what is that, Leslie? Right, so uh, while the questions are accumulating, um, again, if you do want a private reading um, where I have no chance but to answer your questions, obviously, uh, you can go to my website and uh, just, you know, pick up um, whichever service suits best your needs and your budget from the very front page you can you can purchase it from there and as well in this very same uh, website under the tower classes you can sign up for the uh, startup of um, the beginners and the advanced tower classes they are starting this uh, this weekend I'm sorry um, 
Saturday and Sunday, re uh, respectively, in 1 p.m. in both uh, in both days. By purchasing the tower class, you also own it. What I mean is that you are going to be sent a video of the lectures. So that being said, even if you purchase it and you can't attend it every time, you still are not going to miss it because you're going to have a video of it. Okay, video of every lecture. Hello, Radko. Oh, oh my God. Hello, Vicky. Yeah, it's you said hi to me. I'm oh like, what is going on? God. <sighs> All right, so let's make the fool. Right, so Christina Garza, will she going to be in a relationship in the near future? So let's have a look. Hello, Madeline. Long time no see. Yeah, Mercury retrograde. Let's let us let us blame it on it. Yeah, Anna, it's uh, I saw your message just I didn't have the time. I, I do apologize for that. I was about to answer you after the live stream. Uh, it's 1 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah, but you're still gonna get uh, you're still gonna get the uh, the video as per usual. And uh, as you know, you can just whenever you do have a question about something I said and you were not at the class to to ask it throughout the breaks, you can always message me about it. We can uh, we can schedule a time where we can chat about your question. What the? What is this? Thank you, Susan. Alpine, I, it doesn't matter because now I'm pulling randomly. Okay, I'm pulling the signs randomly. So those four that Leslie is writing down have been made. Okay. Right, so Christina, let's uh, have a look. Oh, wow, we do have the Ace of Cups with uh, the Sun card. Followed by the Eight of Cups. Then we do have the Aeon, or that is Judgment. That should be by the end of July. Okay. That should be by the end of July, it is where you're going to meet the person that you're going to end up in a relationship with. When, however, that relationship is going to happen, now that depends entirely on you, but the relationship could end up as well with children, just saying. And uh, you know how far it's going to go, it does depend entirely on you. However, what you need to know it is that most likely uh, that is not going to be exactly a guy that you are expecting to uh, to meet or to have. I mean, as a, a guy in a sense of, or a girl, I don't know your preferences, but in a sense of a criteria. So it does look like that, um, you know, you also are gonna change something with, uh, with your own personal, how can I say, standards in terms of, and I'm not saying about abating the standards, it's just changing one standard from an, for a, another when that person come about. But yeah, it does look like that by the end of July, you are definitely gonna have that thrill of emotional, um, of emotional connection 
toward a somebody and the thrill is going to be mutual now there will be uh, it will be required some time that you get the hang of it being uh, being together and hanging out what i mean is that at the start there will be some sort of a uh, collides and clashes in terms of opinions so some arguments and disagreements and as well wrangles are not excluded but hey that makes the whole thing interesting isn't it and uh, at the end of the day you have no restrictions here i mean you can be as happy as you can make yourself within that a future uh, future relationship right so that was uh, the christina's reading And now a couple of minutes and uh, I'm going to go to or move to the next four star signs. So do you like it that way, guys, being a, a, a random draw? I mean, the which star sign is going to be next? What do you think? Am I single? Yeah, I'm single. <laughs> I don't get along very well with women. What I mean is that one thing is, you know, making a tarot reading for women. Another thing is getting along with them. It's just I don't get along very well with, with women on a, uh, on a, uh, a personal, let alone emotional level. Because believe it or not, guys, I am not a person who is uh, very drifted by emotions. As a matter of fact, I would say that I feel almost no emotions whatsoever. Yeah, it's kind of like my choice. I have nothing to hide, Jeanette. I, I have nothing to hide. So, well, we do, but for that particular thing, I don't, I don't see a reason why should I hide it, even if I am in a relationship. What is my sun, moon and rising? My sun is uh, Scorpio, my moon is Sagittarius and my rising is Aquarius. So it's one after a another. What is the order of it? Yeah, that's, that's the thing, Daniele. Being a single doesn't mean being miserable, you know, we are still happy. I am happy. Yeah, well, I don't know, Anna, that is because, well, look, with friends, being a friend, that is a different thing. But when it comes to sharing emotions, I have nothing to share, all right? It's just, I, I'm, even if I do feel something, I do not share. It. It's just how I am constructed, okay? It's just what, what, what my nature is. And women doesn't like that. It's always more peaceful, Magdalena. It's always more peaceful. The very least, you don't have anybody to tell you what you should do, right? Oh my God, Chantale, um, thank you uh, if you refer to me, but I think that anybody is perfect as they are. Now that is the thing, and that is something that I explain in the classes as well, and it is with, within the one of the cards that I'm explaining that, you know, a really successful relationship 
can only come when both are accepting for each other for what they truly are instead of trying to change each other so yeah hate being told what to do either <laughs> i seriously doubt it because every lady i met thus far i would uh, bragging that they like mystery guys and then few weeks in it they hate not knowing what I think, what I feel, and what I am anticipating, okay, so, I mean, ladies may think they like mystery guys, but they don't know what they like, I mean, they don't know what they are getting themselves into, anyway, so let's move to the next four star signs, guys, let me make a poll here, and the next one is going to be Aries, we do have Aries, okay, so let me shuffle, My moon is not in Aquarius, Rodustina. My moon is a uh, Sagittarius. My rising is Aquarius. All uh, right, so uh, that was about Aries. Yeah, so we do have a seven of wands with the five of swords. Oh my God. Uh, and then we do have the eight of wands here. Okay, that's, uh, that's a very quick one. Uh, we do have Aries is doing whatever they please, not giving a, a dime about the opinion of whomever. Okay, so Aries are going to do whatever they please in terms of career and whatever, the, whatever, they, uh, whatever they want to do in terms of relationship. Now, the scary thing here, though, it is that those, um, and I'm saying it in case you do have a friend Aries that you do have a dealing with right now, it is because they have planned it for quite a while and uh, this plan will unfold like a masterpiece okay so it, it, it is almost a cinema scary you know these kind of a uh, plans that people do in those a uh, uh, thriller movies you know on the cinema well that kind of a thing we're talking about here that, that plan is going to unfold with a, a surgical precision so if you have planned something for the next couple of weeks, hands down, it will work out, okay? It, it is just is going to work out. Not to mention that you will have just only one, but many opportunities to set your plan in motion and, and the plan to become um, successful, if you will. Uh, additionally to that, you uh, Aries will have no problem whatsoever to defend your domain. I mean to defend your relationship and to defend your your career as well in terms of if you do have any enemies, rivals, you know, for example, a third party that is trying to influence your relationship, say, um, Mr. or Mistress. Yeah, when you say Mistress, how do you say it in a male variation? Is a Mr.? How, how do you say it? I, I was always wondering about that. In any case, uh, so yeah, you will be able to deflect and defend your domain, uh, your domain very successfully. And as well, a retribution is not excluded. What I mean is if someone is try, tries to do you harm, they may kind of like bring upon themselves the wrath of Ares. And as we all know, Ares is the god of war. Mister, okay. So yeah, they. Um, so if there are misters or mistresses, um, there they could face a retribution from Aries. Right. So that was about Aries. <laughs> Maybe side <psychic. laughs> dick. 
Well, if we are going to say it side D, then I don't think that side chick as well, it's the right term. Hello, Sandy. All right, so let's uh, let's have a look who is the other one or which one is the other one. Wow, we do have a Libra for the next one, okay? I now we lost count how many we did. We have done six so far, okay? So two more before the other the the next pool of questions. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look. Hello, Rob. Exactly, side P and side D. Yeah, it's that thing with the P I was about to say, but the video is going to be flagged, I believe. Uh, today I'm quite quite well, Rob. Thank, thanks for oh my god, thanks for asking. Um, two days ago when I had a stream, I wasn't quite in condition, but thankfully the whole thing went away. Um, Right, so Libra, now the first one is going to be the Two of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Six of Swords. And afterwards, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. All right, so uh, about Libra, they are about to get themselves involved into something quite big here within the next couple of weeks. So if they're, for example, are awaiting their job approval or their job interview, that is in fact something that may happen within the next couple of weeks. If they are waiting for a, a decision to come about from their husband or a wife, you know, or from their family, that is also something that is highly likely that is gonna come by in the next couple of weeks and is going to be a positive, okay? Because what bottom line here with those cards it is what we do. It is that Libra are going to have a green light to improve and to expand in terms of career or in terms of relationship. Even more than that, uh, with those two here, the Six of Swords and the Two of Wands, some risky actions or rather like some risky maneuvers of Libra are now giving them the, uh, the opportunity to get what they want. Because with the Two of Wands and... Oh my God. The Two of Wands and the Six of Swords. Just one second, guys. A card just fell down. So where was I? So Six of Swords and the Two of Wands, it is when you... Um, you want what you want and you don't stop until you get what you want. And uh, with the Ten of Wands next to the Two of Wands, there is definitely a, a way how you can get what you want because the Ten of Swords and the Two, uh, the Ten of Wands, I'm sorry, and the Two of Wands, it is when one strives for power and one knows and, and has the option to get a, a power should one be willing to play by the rules within, uh, with, within which framework power is to be created okay so you are going to be very busy chasing up the goal but at the end of the day you are going to reach the goal so that being said clear up your schedule guys uh, for a completely unnecessary enterprises and completely unnecessary uh, how can i say events as well uh, roll up your sleeves and uh, pretty much unleash yourself a forward in terms of career and in terms of relationship as well right so that was about liberal now uh moving next we do have let me make the pool here we do have a leo okay, so that's leo Well, Christina, I'm saying reaching up, reaching up, oh my God, reaching up a goal. Uh, because, yeah, that's while that is true, that goal as well is going to be just a milestone. You can definitely use it as a, say, trampoline to propel, to propel yourself even for a greater height or higher summit. You're welcome, Jocelyn. Hello, Frank.
Well, it's uh, 3 three twenty four uh, a.m. here, Rob. Yeah, I do need some sleep, and I'm gonna get it after the stream is done. So, Leo, we do have the world card for you, followed by uh, the seven of wands. Okay, and then we do have the king of pentacles. So that is quite interesting. Just give me a second here, guys. So again, seven of cups. Did I say seven of wands? So it's seven. So we do have the world. Seven of Cups, and then we do have the King of Pentacles. So, what is interesting is that combo, okay? Seven of Cups in the world, and it's quite... Um, It's quite difficult to identify. It is because uh, for once, that particular combo, it says that whatever uncertainty, uncertain, uncertainties you do have, but these uncertainties are not in regards to uh, current endeavors, but these uncertainties are like, you know, is something that I plan is going to happen. So it's not for an ongoing thing, okay? They do not regard ongoing thing. They do regard a futuristic goals. They are to be cleared out. So uh, throughout those couple of weeks, you Libra are going to have, um, uh, Leo, I'm sorry, uh, you're going to have the vision what is manifestable, you know, what is real, uh, what can be accomplished for the time frame you have placed upon yourself. Or, and what cannot be accomplished, therefore you will have the clarity here to avoid a major, major disappointments, not, uh, not just only in relationship lifestyle, but as well into career also. Additionally to that, with those two cards, you will know how you stand everywhere you are, in a sense of you will know how you stand into your career in front of your boss, you will know how you stand into your relationship or into your social circle or in relationship life in general, and so on and so forth. So you will have quite of an accurate understanding, you know, who you are, where you are, and how to get where you want to be, and is that even possible? And the other combo here is also very interesting. So we do have the uh, King of Pentacles and the World card. And um, those two cards, they are a passive supporters. And they point that, right, that if you plan to invest into something, now is the time for you to invest. And because the window is closing, that is like, you know, betting on a horse and the bets are closing at the end of those couple of weeks. So while you are using your perception here, or rather like your clarity, what is, what is possible and what is impossible for you to accomplish, you invest only into what is possible and those investments are gonna have a return. There is more than certain than that. Uh, the cards are more as certain than that. Cannot be more certain than that, oh my god, um, with the world and the uh, king of pentacles here. So it's time for investments, okay? But it's time for a uh, practical investments rather than investments that involve a risk taken. You do not take any risks next couple of weeks, okay? You, re you, you invest only into those things that are 100% in the bag. And you will know which one is in the back. Okay, make no mistake in it. Right, so that was uh, Leo. That was the third one. Okay, and now let's make another pool. We have Cancer. Uh, Leslie, it is not exactly investing in yourself. Yeah, you, it is always good to invest in yourself, but as well invest into your goals. But the bottom line here for Leo was that they will very well know has the clear the clearance once again which which goals are seeds growing, 
and which are just a celluloid growth that cannot be accomplished no matter what you invest in, okay? Right, so for cancer, we do have the uh, we do have the emperor with the tower, and then we do have the world. Now that's a big thing. Wait, was the moon not in cancer? Oh, that's a huge one, guys. Just one second. Yeah, it's the new moon happens into Cancer. Well, that explains it. Hello, Crystal. Thank you. Bless be to you. All right. So, um, It's well, you know, guys. Um, there is a very few times where I don't know what to say. Oh, well, that that is one of these times. That's just all right. So let's uh, just let me first sip a coffee before I start saying something. Hello, Lena. Right, so we do have an, an active neutrals, active supporters. Now, these active supporters is something I was talking with the Pisces Moonbeam, okay? Um, a few days ago, or it was a week ago, I don't remember exactly. But we were talking the moment when Mars retrogrades in Aries, okay? My friends, if you think that shit's hit the fan, you just wait for that time, okay? It happens in, I, I believe, September or October this year. And oh my God, that is going to be so bad. I don't want to scare anybody, but it's it's not a good thing. Even from a standpoint of Taro, that is the reverse Tower meets um, the Emperor. And that is war, all right? It's just the way you look at it. It's, it's just war. So... It's a bad thing. Now, good thing here it is that we don't have the tower reversed because that is elements of dignities. And actually, those couple of cards are a complementing each other quite well. So what we do have here for you, Cancer, it is that. Um, so let me let me choose my words carefully so I don't get misunderstood. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, these couple of weeks are a weeks where you, mm, oh my God, um, where you restore order into havoc, within the havoc or within the chaos, within the, uh, the destruction itself. Okay, so you rebuild the destruction, I don't know how to say it. Or in other words, you are going to rule the chaos. Now, if I have to... Um, put those two cards into one, I'm pretty sure that they are going to almost form the Wheel of Fortune, excluding the uh, luck of the draw, okay? So they do represent the Wheel of Fortune without the luck of the draw that the Wheel of Fortune gives you. So uh, pretty much what happens here is that you're gonna rule the chaos. And do you know what people say about those who rule the chaos? Well, that the only the weakest are preferring order in their life, while the strongest ones they do prefer to rule the chaos. Um, so you are pretty much going to get to say, you know, what if within your life is going to be rebuilt. And I'm saying destroyed, I say rebuilt. Okay. And what should stay the same. Now, while the, these couple of weeks are going to have rather unpleasant circumstances throughout them, and those circumstances are going to be forced by you, because in order to cut off the dead uh, the, the dead tissue from a wound, right? You also need to cut a little bit of a, a life tissue from it, right? 
So, uh, and, and that cutting represents the unpleasant circumstances. So while there are gonna be a bit of unpleasant circumstances throughout those couple of weeks, ultimately at the end the result is gonna be a nurturing and healing effect upon your lifestyle, upon your relationship, and upon your career as well. Now, as we are talking about career, those two cards may represent that you do make your company to dodge a, a bullet. A, a huge crisis come about and you are the only one who knows what to do, how to do it, and when to do it, and where to do it as well. So a, a great hopes are to be placed upon you, especially if we're talking about career-wise. And uh, however, there are conditions. You should not be a, a coward. But I, I'm saying that because it will really going to be a, a scary situation because a lot is going to be riding on it. Okay, And people who do not have a sense of a reliability and sense of, of responsibility as well, they will not going to be able to pull it through because if anything else, you should not present yourself as a someone who backs off of a challenge and someone who is weak. And above everything else, guys, just remember that sentence. Dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be told, okay? You just need to say only what the person needs to know whomever that person is. For example, if you do have a rough and really, really difficult times into your career, do not share all that with your husband, for example, or with your wife, because they cannot do anything about it and they will just gonna stress themselves out and that will continue, that will going to increase the tension into your relationship as well, which is something that you do not need, okay? And uh, the world to the emperor, it's a very quick, you know, interpretation here that we do have. That is pretty much uh, uh, connects to the reshaping of the ending or rather like you get to say how you want it. Okay. And uh, as well, how you want how you want to make it. What I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that at the end of the day, you can make what you want to make the way you want to make it. Right, so that was uh, that was about cancer. Now, the next poll happens. Okay, so you can uh, start inputting your questions into the comments here, and once they accumulate, I'm gonna pick a question and I'm going to perform a, a professional reading on it. So, if you do want a free reading, that is the way uh, how you get one. Здрасте, Майя. О, Мария. Мария, Майя. Now that's uh, that's something that I want to say as well. Here we do have one question that is inputted by Tammy. Okay, so Tammy asks, uh, uh, gives that trivial question that I get all the time, which is, I will I find a true love? We all are finding true love, guys. It is just, you know, we may not have the awareness to spot it. And one thing is finding it, another is catching it. Okay, finding it does not mean that you will be able to catch it. I'm just making, you know, some, uh, how can I say, you know, some giving some thoughts on it. Whichever. So you do have two names.
Yeah, Chantalia, I mean, that's uh, that's really sad. You know, that that is why I don't, that is one of the reasons why I don't uh, kind of uh, allow myself to fall in love. It is because, you know, throughout all of my experience, um, it never worked out for me. So it's, I, I think that I gave up on trying, but, you know, that doesn't mean that you should, guys. Right, so before I pick the question, um, again, should you want a private reading, guys, you can go to my website, uh, into the, uh, the link is into the post here of the live stream, and on the very front page, you're going to see all of my services, and depending on your needs and your budget as well, I know you can, uh, you can, purchase, a, you can purchase a reading, and within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you via email. Uh, to tell you how the reading is going to take place. So make sure that you do check as well your spam and uh, junk folder. I just saw that we do have only three sheets left. Have I made... Have I made eight? Or nine? In any case, um, whichever I forgot to put in, although I don't think that I forgot to put in anything, I think that the thing falls somewhere. I think I see it on my ground, but I'm not going to pull it back. So, um, yeah, uh, depending on your budget, you can choose a service. And uh, within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you, uh, giving you details how the reading is going to take place. Or I think that I draw more than more than eight star signs they, they, does someone tracks so we do have pisces taurus so yeah they are eight actually that i did yeah i did eight yeah thank you rebecca so i guess i messed this thing around Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Virgo, and one more, which is Aquarius, right? So Scorpio, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Virgo have not been made. All right, so let's make the poll. Ashley, can you can you really give up on loving someone? I mean, if you can, you can you can share your secret here on how you just can shut down of loving someone to all of us, so we don't have a heartaches. All right, so we do have a Rob Mack here that has problems in, uh, are those, uh, uh, oh my God, are those problems going to clear out? Uh, let's have a look, Rob. So the first one is going to be the moon, followed by the uh, 
the king of wands it says knight but within this deck the knights are the kings in the traditional way uh deck with the empress and then what we do have it is the eight of swords okay so um just let me give you a time frame first okay So the problems are going to clear out. It is just not the way that you do expect that they are going to clear out. Uh, they should clear out by the end of the summer. What I mean, it is June, July at the end of uh, by the mid to end of August, uh, by the mid to end of August this year. And uh, they will still leave. I mean, the problems that you do have are going to clear out. It is just they will still leave some limitations that you will have to oblige by. OK, and that will unless you don't want to lose something going forward with your future. But the good thing here that we do have with those cards is that you can still um, how can I say you can still get the hang of it. I mean, you can still situate yourself in a rather comfortable, uh, comfortable position there. Now, very important thing in regards to those problems, whatever problems you do have, it is to know that they do have a um, rather huge impact for your future unfoldment. What I mean is that it, it is that they, these problems, so-called, are a necessary events. So you do get to the point to the place where you're supposed to go another place i mean place in general in the future how you're going to find yourself uh, uh in the future but definitely because we do have the knights of wands uh or the king of wands uh in this deck into the second position of that spread uh, it's um it's something that will deprive you of moving forward in term of your ambition and in term of your goal at least for a time being uh, but the best way of how you can uh, tackle currently you know with those problems is by just not ignoring them but try to detach from them as much as you can so you can look at the situation itself from a more mature view and under more mature view i mean before you decide what to do you do consider a all points of view not only the points of view that are created by your uh, by your emotions because at the end of the day uh here with the empress into the third position whatever you saw on you are to reap either bitter or sweet that's why you may you need to make sure that your uh, how can i say um your lawn is with only a productive seeds suffused right so that was about uh rob's question uh here and uh couple of minutes and we're gonna go to the last four star signs so that this does this, this thing fell somewhere oh my god i had no idea no i'm i'm pretty sure that i had 12 i i counted them a few times before i go live what happened i am rhyming it's, it, if if I did, it was completely, completely unintentional. Right. So once again, guys, the classes are starting this weekend. So if you do, if you want to si sign up for the six weeks long a tarot class, beginner tarot class. For it you don't have to to know anything about tarot cards as a matter of fact it is best if you don't know anything about tarot cards for it and uh, at the end of it you will know how to read with the major arcana of the tarot and conduct your own uh, your own readings as well um, and uh, the other class is starting at saturday and that is going to be over the minor arcana we are starting with the suite of uh, with the suite of wands <clears throat> So if you want to sign up for whichever, you can go again to the website and under the tarot classes section, you can sign up there. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm right. No, it was, it was completely unintentional. What was the rhyme I did? Do, do you guys can uh, can restructure it? Huh? 
Hello, Lily. Yeah, Magdalena, you never know, you know, what kind of a talent is going to pop up or immerse beneath the surface, right? As a matter of fact, we do have a tarot card as such that shows it. Hello, Katie. Have I not answered that last Monday, Maya? <laughs> Coolest and coldest. Yeah, I mean, you are on sp uh, on the money here, I Susan. I don't know what you mean under coolest, but thank you so much. Because I do have uh, some sentences, you know, kind of like memorized in regards to the cards which are rhyming. But that is, you know, how I um, how I kind of like explain things to me. Um, and some sentences I came up with them, you know, while I was taking a shower most of the times. Cause, you know, it's uh, yeah, I know. Coolest is awesome. I, I was just trying to, to pass a joke. Obviously, it didn't happen. <laughs> it was not taken taken well uh, or it did not work out Yeah, that's with the Empress. I mean, it's it's within the cards. I'm explaining it into the class why, you know, and where it comes from. But with the Empress, it is that whatever uh, whatever you sown, you're going to reap either bitter or sweet. But that's not a rhyme. I know, Anna, I don't like rap. Okay. In generally, I don't like rap. There is only one uh, song rap that I can listen and listen. That is if I am with a crowd, you know, and I have no other choice. And I believe uh, her, uh, the, the song's author, it's Eminem. Okay. And uh, it is because it, it is not even a rap. Okay. It's, it's just not even a rap. Right, so next one, uh, that is going to be Scorpio. Okay, so we do have Scorpio. I can kind of see the other two, okay? And I do believe that Aquarius, it's not present here. So um, I'm going to pick Aquarius maybe before I draw the other one, or maybe at the end, or maybe uh, in between the other two that I pick. I don't know yet, okay? So it's going to be like a surprise. But it does look like that, say, Aquarius slipped somewhere.
There will be an Aquarius Cherida. It is just it's not in the ball somewhere. It, it went somewhere. I don't know why. And I'm pretty sure that I have wrote it down. Right. So, Scorpio. We do have the Six of Cups with the Two of Wands. And then we do have the Two of Pentacles, okay? So that will be probably the most innocent a couple of weeks that we're going to have as Scorpio, because I am Scorpio as well. Aquarius paper jumped right. So that is, that is going to be uh, the most peaceful and innocent weeks that we are going to have pretty much what those couple of cards here are pointing, is that we're going to sacrifice personal growth uh, for a sake of having a good time, okay? It is just like, you know, we are going to slow the pace uh, in a sense of um, kind of like being a, 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 a career aggressive, for example, or trying way too hard over things in terms of career or in terms of relationship. And instead, we are going to enjoy the small things in life, which I very much do all of the time. OK, so I don't see anything different that is happening here for me throughout those a couple of weeks. But hey, you who are a really hard worker, those couple of weeks are going to be really a time to recuperate. Those who are very stressed within their relationship as well are going to find a time to recuperate throughout those couple of weeks now something very um interesting that is happening here it is in between the six of, of cups and the two of pentacles now those couple of cards are pointing toward a some surprises really really pleasant surprises they're going to be a small things but small uh, but small as a thing or rather like a petite petite oh my god petite as a thing it will create a enormous pleasure within us that could be you know for example a catching up with an old friend that we haven't saw for a really really long time or it is just a pleasant surprise that our partner in relationship or our boss makes toward us as well it will be completely completely unexpected and uh, itself is going to change some concepts we do had for our job or for our relationship toward a positive end for example if we thought that we do suck into our relationship and we pretty much are losing a grip on it that surprise is going to be reassurance here that nothing bad is going to happen same thing happens within a uh, career as well it's kind of like a reassurance that we are not exactly on the right track because we are on the right track but it's kind of like that we are doing the right thing there and that itself is going to give us like said a bit a bit more free time to enjoy ourselves now is are those a um Uh, now, are those uh, going to be lucrative weeks? I would rather say no, but they're going to be happy weeks. OK, so I do hope, uh, Scorpio, that you have made some money last few uh, weeks or months, because these couple of weeks are a weeks where you catching where you are catching up your breath now it's not impossible that you do are that you can go for the money but if you do go for the money you are going to be so stressed you can't even imagine okay so that that was about scorpio now next one that will be sagittarius here sagittarius And by the way, if any of you is a chiropractor and you are to visit the Bulgaria on a holiday, please give me a call. I do need chiropractors so bad, you can't even imagine. And there is no chiropractors here. It's just something that it is not practicing within my country. Uh, it's, oh my God, my neck is killing me.
so in any case uh, we do have uh, Sagittarius on our hands here and uh, the first one for Sagittarius is going to be the Eight of Swords moving next we do have the Two of Cups and we do have the Ace of Wands uh, so see how the tides are turning here well that is uh, the expression of a personal strength what I mean here uh, Sagittarius it is that you are going to understand how strong you are on your own accord that is like you break down or rather like disintegrate a boundaries uh, barriers limitations or whatever that you have uh, created for yourself in the sake of uh, relationship and in the relationship I don't mean only love relationship because the two of cups is not just only a love relationship guys it is a uh, it is a balanced relationship through contact in general in general so <clears throat> yeah you are going to understand that you are strong on your own accord therefore it is highly likely within the next couple of weeks some partnerships to be broken especially if you do realize that you are carrying on somebody on your back because the eight of swords and that's probably it's a rhyme as well but i love it okay the eight of swords stands for if the truth makes you free tell me what the denial of it makes you so these couple of weeks you will no longer gonna be able to give an excuse and deny the truth that you are simply better than somebody and that somebody has no place within your uh within your endeavors okay or within your enterprises no different than you had established business with somebody okay but you are doing all of the hard work there and that person is only getting the benefits so you won't be able to stand this any longer and pretty much a, a detachment here it's very very possible nonetheless once you do recognize the truth here that will set you free as said and that itself is going to give you a really gaining for enterprise moving forward in the future which which enterprise is on its own accord is going to allow you to develop skills and talents that are currently smothered and stifled between uh, underneath the uh, the routine so you did you, you did not have any how can I say predisposition to try these things around and you're gonna find out that you're very good at it which will give you an additional arsenal to catch a more varieties of suitors for example or um, apply for more uh, versatile jobs moving forward <coughs> corona oh my god all right so next uh we do have aquarius now uh jenny i don't think that yoga is going to help okay because i feel is within the joints and I just need adjustments. You're welcome, Rakai. I just need adjustments, guys. Not not a yoga. It is it is in the base of my neck. The, the base of my neck. Oh my god. It's really killing me. Yeah, that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> now, <laughs> acupuncture. <laughs> and I don't know. That, that is something that it is not within my country as well. In any case, have you, not, uh, have you not noticed that everybody stopped talking about it? Now, everything that it is talked about, it's the riots that are happening. So nobody is dying from, from the corona any longer. Yeah, I mean, now people are more concerned about the riots than anything else. And that should be the case. Don't, don't get me wrong, but suddenly, you know, Corona is not that dangerous any longer. Right, so um, Aquarius. Now, the first one that we do have for you is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. 
Moving next, that is going to be the uh, Nine of Wands, uh, the uh, Page of Wands, I'm sorry. Then we do have the Nine of Wands. So uh, I, that is a pretty short one, Aquarius. Uh, that is a confirmation that you still have what to accomplish within your ongoing uh, enterprises and endeavors. What I'm trying to say here is that if you do have a question, you know, should I stay or go? Those cards are telling you that you got to give one last chance that is because within the current uh, what they say here and they say it in a very different way uh, because in my classes i am uh, the, the strongest card about a confirmation that you are on the right track that is the moon i'm explaining why within my tarot class but here they are saying it in a very different fashion okay they are saying these cards are saying that within the current setup that you have created either career or relationship wise there are still potentials to be unfolded okay so that may not be the substantial thing you gotta chase but you still have what to benefit from if you stay in it stay in it a, a little longer obviously those are really good cards in terms of development uh, if you are wondering, you know, is that relationship that I am in, for example, gonna uh, going to unfold with those cards, it will unfold at least for the next couple of weeks. OK, uh, same thing in terms of career. If you are wondering, you know, is my career going to take off at least for the next couple of weeks is going to take off and you don't have to. Th oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> and you don't have to change a thing about it. OK, you just go by your plan because. Once again, with those cards, there is still what uh, to get benefit from, from the plan itself, or there is a potential in there heretofore unexplored, yet unexplored, okay? And last one, that will be Virgo. And after that, the last pull is going to happen, okay? So if you do want a pre-reading, again, stay up until the pull and uh, yeah, I mean, a uh, situation with Europe, it's a bit rough. Uh, I do believe that Europe haven't opened the uh, exterior borders yet. Uh, we, the Europeans, are free to move in. You know what I mean is to free to move to move in between the countries or the states. I don't know how to name them anymore uh, within the European Union. But yeah, I mean the outside borders because we are a outside state or a borderline state. Okay, we are on the border of the Europe on the uh, on the European Union, and. Uh, we don't have any regulations now for the people that are coming from Greece from a, 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 and Romania, but from those that are coming from Turkey, Serbia and Macedonia, there are a, a rebel, uh, um, regulations. What do you mean? I have no feelings whatsoever. Uh, besides, why should I hate Aquarius? That's my rising sign. Right, so uh, let's have a look about uh, Virgo. So the first one for Virgo is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Hierophant. And then we do have the Five of Swords. Okay. So those uh, three cards. First of all, we do have a Passive Supporters. And then we do have the Passive Enemy kind of card here. Um, Right, uh, so that is a confirmation here that uh, whatever um, changes you are anticipating, you know, uh, within your either career or within your either a relationship, they are going to take place, but they are not going to take place forcefully. Okay, those cards themselves are pointing that there is a, a solution to any kind of predicament and any kind of issue within the framework of the existing enterprise. However, uh, one needs to, how can I say, 
Oh my God, that is going to be such a scientific explanation. Uh, one needs to stick with the technological time that it is needed, okay? One cannot force things. So if you try to bruise and push yourself upon the problems you are trying to solve, uh, it's most likely you are going to do more harm than good. However, <clears throat> if you are, for example, calm, uh, if you make your research and if you allow the things to unfold the way they are supposed to unfold, because once again, for anything, there is a technological way of of um, of manifesting. Say you are you want to buy yourself a house, right? So pushing that will serve you no favor because at the end of the day, you are going to buy the first car, the first house you uh, you stumble upon and you may find yourself hating it. It will be better if you do research your options available, you reconnoiter them, you, uh, how can I say, you investigate, and then you buy the most profitable one, right? So here it is all about taking your time and also uh, having yourself adaptable in a sense of, um, in a sense of perception. Because it is highly likely entering into the uh, this solar eclipse that you do have one of the understanding and seeing how the situation unfolds in front of you, your understanding or your concepts, if you will, are going to start, start changing, adapting to the best outcome of the situation itself. So it's also highly likely here with those cards that at the end of the day, you know, you may find yourself wanting something different than what you have wanted at the start of those couple of weeks or loving somebody for very different reasons than the reasons you have loved that person at the start of those uh, couple of weeks. And if we are talking about love here, guys, those cards are pointing that you may be the fortunate one who is going to identify the true meaning of love itself. Okay. Okay, so that was... Um, that was about Virgo. Now we have we are done with the old 12 star signs and the last four is going to take place. So if you do have a questions, uh, a question, I'm sorry, um, singular, uh, please input it into the post into the oh my God, into the comments of the post. And I'm going to make a pick. I'm going to perform a, a professional reading on that question. What the hell? No. Oh my God. Just give me a second, guys. What is that? What? How am I supposed to gain control over it now? So stupid. Whoever made it deserves to be fired on spot. I'm talking about the... Uh, I'm talking about the uh, Facebook interface. It's... Oh my 
in any case just give me a second stupid yeah let's blame it on the mercury let's blame let's blame everything on mercury that will fix everything Like oh my god, mother! Oh my god, Leslie! Don't don't talk about kidney stones. I do have these occasionally, and if somebody tells me that they had experienced pain through their life and they it was not a kidney stone, they have no idea. I mean, that's the true pain, guys. I mean, it's it's really bad. I mean, it's really you you want to commit suicide? I'm I'm serious. You just want to commit a a suicide. Okay, so we have Donna Lee, which asks, "Are is she gonna be happy in her job?" So let's uh, have a look, Donna. So, the first one here for you, Donna, is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Ace of Cups, followed by the uh, Lover's card. And at the end, uh, we do have the Death card, okay? So, the time frame for you is up until mid of April next year, right? So, it's a quite of a long a time frame. And unfortunately, at least at the start, you won't be happy at the job itself. As a matter of fact, uh, you are about to start seeing a lot of displease, if you will, about how you are doing the job itself. That displease could come from your boss, from your supervisor, you know, or from the people that you are working with or working for. Um, now, uh, it's very important that you do go by the, the critic, right? Because that critic isn't meant to make you feel bad. It's meant to show you the right way how you should do your job. And I'm not saying that you are doing your job in a, uh, a bad. It is just not the way that you are expected to get the job done. And once you get the hang of that, it will become a routine. And, uh, you know, then you are going to end up happy at your job. However, um, at the mid of April, uh, you will stand uh, before of a choice. Should you stick with this job or should you go for a new job? But the bottom line, it is that um, it is that after the mid of April next year, your job and your career, as a matter of fact, is never going to be the same. It either is going to be better or is going to be, um, uh, how can I say, a worse. Uh, worse in the sense of money, but in generally is going to be uh, transcended. That is what I am uh, trying to say. Uh, now, at the uh, mid of April, you most likely will have to make the choice that stands like that. You know, you will have to go and work what you hate, but for a lot of money, or you will have to go and work what you love, but for money that will just, you know, manage you to meet ends. Which one? You decide. Okay, so as you can see, there is no right or wrong choice. And there is, how can I say, uh, you cannot have both. You have to decide for which one you want to go for. Are you going to go for what you have to do or are you going to go for what you want to do? In either way, there will be a consequences and there will be benefits as well. 
So that being said, um, that will conclude the stream, I guess. I mean, that that, that was a that was a a, a, a long one, and. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand why 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 Facebook is the stream. I guess I mean that... whatever. So yeah, uh, I guess that that will uh, that will conclude the stream, guys. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for uh, watching as usual. Uh, thank you for supporting me. By the way, if you do want to support me, the only thing you gotta do is just share that video, that live stream, so it can reach more people. And um, yeah, we are going to see each other probably at uh, Friday, uh, where I'm going to make the sun in Cancer. Let me let me have a look. Um, yeah, it's sun in Cancer season. Yoo hoo! So uh, we do have sun in Cancer at Friday. At, uh, at Friday, I'm going to come up there and. Um, we're gonna come up in live and just you know make uh, make the predictions uh, as uh, as usual if you do want a private reading you can go to my website and from there from the very front page uh, you can um, decide for what service you're gonna go for depending on your needs and your budget as well and uh, again the tarot classes the new tarot classes are starting this weekend the major arcana one from Sunday 1 uh, 1 a.m. which is a six weeks along a tarot class and the minor arcana from a Saturday the suit of wands which is a three weeks and then we do have the suit of swords which is another three weeks so uh, pretty much you know if you do want uh, if you do like the way I read tarot cards and you do like to learn the same way you can sign up for these uh, for these classes in order to do so again go to my website and they are under the tarot classes section you're gonna find everything you need to do so so uh, that being said thank you again so much for watching we're gonna see each other next time I hope and until then bye